Hello friends and in today's video we will be discussing about the wine data analysis. So let's start with the analysis. First we will load the basic libraries here. So I have already written it. So we import numpy, pandas and two plotting libraries that is matplotlib and cborn. So this is how we write it and we call them as respective by respective names. Right. So this is the convention. NP, PD, PLT, SNS, that's how we follow. Press shift enter. Then this wine data set is already been provided in the SK Learn. So SK Learn comes with many data sets and wine is one among them. We've done Boston and Iris in our previous videos. Please watch it. They were also in SK Learn. We just loaded it. So we will load this. So what happens then? We create an object and in that we load this wine data. And then you see wine. So this is the data which has been loaded. And we see this is data. This is target. We've got target names. And we see here class 0, 1, 2, 1, and 2. So that means there are three types of wine here. And let's explore further. We see description. And we see so many things which is not understood. Okay, fine. Let, then let's um, make it more easier to understand. So we can just see here that, okay, there are feature names also. That means they are columns. So what I write is, is here is uh, wine dot feature names. So this gives me, these are the feature names that we have seen there. There's alcohol, malic acid, ash, magnesium, flavonoids, and so on. Now let's just check uh, our target names. We've seen that there are three classes 0 1 and 2 and when we see the description of it we will see the wine data set and uh, the data characteristics are as you can see here that the instances are 178 that is uh, 15 each class these are rows and 13 are the you can say columns okay and one is a class in it so we can see this here and the class is this and they have given the statistic summary also that the minimum maximum value and standard deviation of each of this feature and do you have any missing values no and uh, they have also given that class 0 contains 59 values class 1 has 71 and class 2 48 we will explore it in our data okay it is just the description because it has already been there that's why we know it but suppose you have an unknown data, how do you understand? How do you uh, derive information? We shall see now. Okay. Press here so that it will go. Next, what we'll do is we've seen that our data is unorganized and it's um, something like this. You know, so let's give it a good shape, arrange it into a data frame. So we use pandas for this. So we convert it into pandas, pd dot data frame, and we get this data, bind dot data. And in columns, we will give these feature names. And we see it through df.head. And this will give me the five above five values by default. Okay. So this is what we see. The entire thing is there. Now you see here the target is not here. Class is not coming. Okay. So, and we see the tail. That means the last three entries because I mentioned three here. So you can see here the last three entries. Okay. Now, if you want to see the shape of the data, the shape will look like 178 rows and 13 columns. Now, what we do is we will add the target in our data frame. So, this is how we write it in df target get target. So, target will be added in the last column. And when we see this data in df.head, the first five entries, we will get this. And this is the target which has been added. Right? If you want to see the shape of the data, this will be 14 columns. And you can also check the columns by df.columns. You will get all the columns here. Now, we will check the data types. So, data types is important because it will tell you whether it is an integer or some object or a category. So, I write df.dtypes and this will give me the, the description of all the features. And they are in float and the target variable here is integer form right and let's just see whether 
is there any null values any zero here so we write is null dot sum and we see that no there are no null values so that's good that we don't have to fill now any null values because there are no null values so data pre-processing data cleaning is not required much this is already a clean data set now we will see the target dot value counts and this is what we get that class 1 is 71 class 0 has 59 instances class 2 has 48 okay now if you want to show it how would you show i will use sns.count plot in that i will see 0 1 and 2 and their count has been displayed greater than 70 0 that's less than 60 and 2 is you know less than 50 okay so we have plotted it now let's see the correlation among various features and with the target how are they related so i set the figure size as 12.6 this comes with plt matplotlib and in sns i have this heat map in this i plot this correlation and this is the p map i have given the color you can see yellow green and blue and i plotted this this is how it looks so you can see this high variance here very high correlation 0 0.86 and this is between total phenols and flavonoids let's check out with our target variable so we see negative relation with alcohol ash magnesium total phenol see high negative correlation with flavonoids and total phenols with the target and also with this diluted wines and proline and hue they're negatively correlated with the target right so negative correlation means them moving in opposite direction if one is high then uh, another one is moving in you know smaller smaller values of one means higher values of the other and these are positive correlation that means this uh, alkanicity of ash malic acid non-flavonoids phenol color intensity these are positively related with the target so we can find the correlation here okay after this let's just uh, go on to pair plotting the sns pair plot this pair plot helps us to uh, understand the relation between two variables whether it is linear non-linear with the help of scatter plots this is basically a scatter plot and uh, as you can see we find this linear relationship here and when you map it this linear relationship you go further and check and uh, highly linear relationship has been observed this is flavonoids right and when you check this is total phenol and when you map it down this will again come out to be flavonoids and total phenol that means they have high linear collinearity they are very you know uh, positively related with each other so and you can see various scattering but it is not uh, easy distinguishable between classes 0 1 and 2 so let's see further so now i will use this um, histogram plot all right to see the shape of our data how does the distribution look like and uh, how many how many you know the count of uh, of each bin of this alcohol like suppose if i see this uh, the alcohol part then between 12 to 14 i have the highest range here and in middle i have got this highest range of alcohol here right so the bins tell me how much distribution i have ash similarly you can see which part has which how much high it is how much low it is what is the distribution whether it is crude exponential or it is a nominal curve by uh, well distributed normally distributed so we can find it out from here and you similarly see proline there's a lot of variation total phenol has also various variation and so we can see that yes outliers are also here see less values you can see here that means they are extremely like huge values which are affecting my data even here we have outliers here we have u 
flavonoids they have. So let's see the box and whisker plots give me a good idea about the outliers. And I plotted kindest box and subplot true. This is what I write down and this is what it gives me. The layout is 4 and 4. And the font size I've given 8 and figure size is 12, 12. So 4 in each row and column. So, so you can see these these circles outside the figure is the outlier. So I can see the outliers in many of the features which will affect the data. See, color intensity, hue. They have these outliers. That means they are... Uh, outside the normal spread of data and these whiskers are the spread of my data so alcohol is finely distributed with with symmetrical data right but malic acid has median so this box plot shows me certain values this is the median this is 25 percent data and 75 percent data this is 50 percent of the data and these whiskers so this is like positively screwed because the right whisker is much bigger than the left one and we've got outliers also so this is giving me five informations here right and next we go on to seeing what else the so target you can see very symmetrical right fine distributed finely distributed and proline is also fair enough no outliers as you can see U has one outlier so what is the effect of outlier in a model actually the when there are certain like uh, extremely high and small and large values in a data set the model learns it and when it learns it it tries to overperform overfit the data and it learns the noises also and so it does not perform well Gen it does not generalize the data so it will not be a good fit it will not um, i would say understand or map the real world uh, situations okay now i can just show you how to just uh, do it for the individual plots so for sns this plot like for target if you see we know the target we know by count plot how how many are there is there so like more than 17 target one so it's like here and for zero it is here class zero and for class two so the distribution plot shows the histogram and the kd that is kernel distribution estimation okay next i have used this bar plot to show you the relationship between the target and the flavonoids so you set this figure 10 6 so that it is visible and you can visualize it better use bar plot for the target in x-axis and flavonoids on the y-axis and go for it. get the data from df and palette is cool bomb palette then we see that flavonoid for class 0 is much higher as compared to 1 and 2 and it reduces for class 2 okay okay now let's see for the another one and this is for target and alcohol see which class has greater alcohol class 0 has the highest amount of alcohol then we have class 2 and then class 1 so binds having different different you know quantity of alcohol in them and then box plot again for target and ash so this box plot will tell me outliers in ash and target so i see in target one i have got and in target zero i have but in two i don't have outliers okay and these are negatively correlated so now i can i have also visualized this by joint plot let's see how it looks with target and total phenols and the kind is hexagon so you can see it for target zero class zero that uh, the total phenol and how does it look that that uh, so for target zero i have it in the higher range and total phenols for target one again i have got it in medium range here between like 3.5 to 1.5 less than 1.5 and for two total phenol value is much less this is what this this histogram is also showing me total phenols okay 
then I come to bar plot again and I target I plotted this uh, you can try with different features so, so for good practice and this is alkanicity of ash how much alkaline it is so this is uh, so class 2 is having more alkaline as compared to 1 and 0 so you know makes sense because they have it has less amount of alcohol in it this has high amount of alcohol in it okay so now again the bar plot with malic acid so this has more malic acid as compared to the other two now when i come to the another one this is for magnesium and again we see that zero has much magnesium as compared to the other two so alcohol more alcohol more magnesium more ash right so you can define determine the quality of class zero that has more magnesium and more alcohol malic acid etc and then we plot the target for uh, hue and target and we see that the hue in again 0 and 1 is much higher as compared to 2 now this again I have experimented with something called joint plot and I have plotted for the target and we see that uh, again for the hue so you can see for class 2 it is less as compared to 0 and 1 which is comparable right and uh, then we go to color intensity because that was left so i just uh, did that also so we see that the color intensity varies with 2 and it is higher in 2 as compared to 0 and 1 right the color intensity so this is for the total data visualized this data analysis visualization loading the data and exploring it so and the next video i'll discuss about the model building entire model building and um, stay tuned thank you